we'll talk Attenzione. about the Annuncione, right. vediamo. Um, before we get into those, why are we making changes at all? Hmm. So, um, for the past year and a half, we have been running Premier Plan Arena, Premier Plan Tabletop, and mm -hmm. um, I've been out at the Pro Tour a lot, various regional championships, and um, a lot of feedback I ended up getting was actually about our arena system. A lot of, a lot of, we have a lot of hybrid players that like to participate in both systems. Mm -hmm. A lot That's of people tough. are really passionate about arena. And um, I brought that feedback back. And with the arena team, we just did what we thought was best. Arena team, to, to non sort of in Europa. that feedback. Um, Clarify the points between Quindi loro hanno soltanto il qualsiasi cosa hanno scelto è soltanto decisa dall'America. So Kyle Billy's out there hearing all of that from the from the PT crowd. Non hanno il feedback europeo. Uh, on the Rio side, we were solo America. hearing a lot of feedback that the system was uh, a little too restrictive, right? Like 32 players in the Arena Championship is a very small uh small field which by, uh, as a result of that it's very difficult to get to the arena championship right? to be one of those 32 players Quindi è troppo difficile entrare nella arena championship the, perché the è difficile arrivarci per come è strutturato to, to sort of chase that if they didn't quite make it through day two of a qualifier weekend uh, but we also weren't seeing a ton of players actually playing in multiple qualifier weekends so okay. in in in, per ora è positivo uh, perché sta dicendo vogliamo vedere più persone poter like, partecipare you know, al qualifier, quindi secondo me riportano a 1.200. Probably we're going to make it to the championship and but you didn't know for a few months, right? We and really we wanted to make it a lot more clear when you've cleared that bar, when you know you're going to make it to the next step and I uh, sort of open it up a little bit and make it a little bit easier for people to engage with the system and be successful in the Arena Premier Play system. All right, we're going to get into the details in a moment, but just to make sure that everyone is correct and knows what they're looking at. When are these changes that we're about to talk about, when are they going to start? Uh, so this new changes will start with the qualifier weekend in May. So okay. the qualifier weekend that's happening next weekend and uh, in April will still be the old system. They're allora, qualifying for the championship six. The next two qualifiers will not have these changes. From May, what they will say will enter into vigor. The system that qualifies for Arena Championship 7 that starts in May of uh, this year. Okay, so okay. the new system that starts in May, what is it? Go. Bye. Dicelo. Well, we let's start with the Arena Championship because that's sort okay. of where the biggest change is. Uh, previously was 32 players. Uh, and now it's going to be uncapped. So as, as many people can qualify okay. for day two, all of those players will make it to the Arena Championship. Uh, we expect to 120 player range and then hopefully grow a little bit over the course of a year or so of Arena okay. Championships. Uh, and we're also adding to the prize pool with those additional players. We're Quindi. also... Più soldi il Monte Premi e non c'è più il K32. Going up from 200 to 250,000. Uh, the finalists top two will still get their invite to the World Championship, but new to the Arena Championship is the top 16 players will also qualify for the Pro Tour. Godo. Uh, previously, these Pro Tour invites were attached to success in the qualifier weekends, uh, but with only some of those, like you needed to actually get seven wins in the qualifier weekend to get that invite. Uh, and so not everybody who played in the Arena Championship previously really had an opportunity to uh, convert that to uh, a spot at the Pro Tour. And so we wanted to make it a little a little more even for everyone, as well as it's going to give away additional invites. Like Beh, previous system, positivo, eh, qualifying somewhere between 10 and 12 players per Arena Championship. So now we're going to get the full top 16. So 16 of our players will make it to the Pro Tour. All right. So il fatto è che la differenza tra 32 e uncapped vuol dire che cambieranno anche il modo di qualifica, secondo me, perché vogliono aumentare il numero, ragazzi. Yeah, let's start let's take one step down and we'll start with day two of the qualifier weekend. This is what leads directly to the Arena Championship. Uh, previously you still needed to get seven wins in order to, to clear that bar. That's going to drop down to six wins. So it's a little bit easier on day two. Uh, and then in addition to that, we 
the old system, if you failed to qualify, you sort of just went back to the starting point, right? You did not really have a Strabello! Way to, to vai infinito! Vai infinito! Come il Pro Tour, so now, porca troia! Just short, but you at least Godo! Cazzo, non è possibile se faccio 4 al day 2 di un, di, di un qualifier, non sono già invitato al prossimo come il Pro Tour. Così va bene! Godo! Month. If you get four and five wins, you go straight to day two, so you won't even need to play in that. Cioè, se io faccio quattro vittorie al day due, ho già fatto day due del del tour del del championship dopo. Godo, godo, porca troia. Not quite, because we wanted to to have that the the result of the leaderboard where you still got rewarded for being close, but not actually getting to the end of the win track. Eh, ma ora secondo me dicono anche un cambio del day due del due uno. Secondo me aumentano la 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 sconfitta. And just to be clear, is the leaderboard completely going away? Uh, yes, the, the at large leaderboard la leaderboard dove c'è a cacare giustamente la tolgono godo so your, your on day quindi le 7 win non ti qualificano più per il Pro Tour e l'Arena Championship ma ti serve una win meno e l'Arena Championship non ti qualifica per il Pro Tour automaticamente ma la top 16 quindi in realtà è un po' più difficile andare al Pro Tour ma è più facile andare al Championship Sì! Day one sì! chiamata cazzo chiamata Uh, when we were looking at the results and sort of the number of players that were making it from day one to day two, we recognized that uh, going seven and one is hard. L'ho chiamata. Sette uno era una stronzata. Al Pro Tour ci vai con otto due. Cristo. Chiamata, detta ieri e detta oggi, chiamata. Due sconfitte. Puoi fare sette due. Godo. Sapete quanti cazzo di dei due avrei fatto io con sette due? Ecco. Uh, puttana, then, <coughs> Bravi. Let's go back to the arena championship real quick. Talk a little bit about that structure Bravi. and maybe what it means for Coming later this year, that will still be the same. Quindi rimane play points, uh, play in, and, uh, 1220 punti, top 250 qualificato. But eh? once those details are published and we start talking about Arena Championship 7 in earnest, we'll have Quindi a quello non l'hanno cambiato. Io sono, ma io dirò, io non mi sto trovando male con il sistema di uh, There will still be one constructed format, so we won't, players won't have to necessarily try and get good with multiple decks and things like that uh so a lot of the the things you love about the arena championship will still be there but the specific details will reveal later down the line we're a little closer all right and and billy he mentioned um the the pro tour invites where there were always kind of 16 slots but they never really used them does this affect uh do these changes affect tabletop at all um they affect tabletop in terms of we can more precisely make sure arena is adequately supported in, in the pro tour by, by clarifying that uh, the invite point. Um, the 16 invites coming for the arena championship is a lot easier to, to fine tune than, you know, the way, the way the qualifier weekends work where it's like some number of people get seven wins day one, then some number of people get seven wins in day two. It's a lot harder to plan than people qualify for one big event where we can invite a fixed number of people. Che prima era confusionario capire chi cazzo doveva andare al Pro Tour dell'Arena Championship. Ora è così. Spectator mode non la metteranno mai ormai. Se capisco. I'm also really excited about the fact that they're all the, the players for one championship will also go to the same Pro Tour. Where right now the, the system because of timing and the way the months Lay, are laid out in the calendar, not every player that, that qualified to the Pro Tour who's playing in AC5 is going to the same Pro Tour. So they'll be mixed mm. up uh, between a couple of different events. And so now we'll have all 16 players who qualified at the same time. They all will get to go to the same Pro Tour. So we'll have this like sort of mini cohort of arena players that I'll get to watch uh, uh, and see how successful they are at the Pro Tour. All right. Um, <clears throat> now, speaking of invites, let's uh, actually, before we go, Remind everyone, because I've seen this question again, when does this new system start? New system starts with the May qualifier weekend. So the, the upcoming, the next two, the one in a couple of weeks and the one in April, those are still the old system that requires the old number of wins. These changes will start with May's qualifier weekend, which is the first qualifier weekend that qualifies for cha Arena Championship 7. Yep. All right. And I do see um, a few 
All right. Let's, we're going to linger on this and, and, and get some chat questions that are specifically okay. about the arena portion before we jump into tabletop, just to make sure we kind of stay on topic. Ah, che cambia anche il tabletop, eh? Um, so, let's go C'è qualcosa da dire anche del tabletop, a quanto pare. qualifying through ladder? Uh, so, the, we actually didn't make uh, a ton of changes to the part of the system pre-qualifier weekends. Uh, they, you can qualify through the ladder still. So if you make Mythic in either Constructed or Limited and you're the top 250, you'll get an invite token for that month's qualifier weekend. And 251 through 1200 will still get play-in points. Uh, okay, don't come back with some play-in points. still have play-ins that lead into every qualifier weekend. The one change that we are making to this sort of section uh, that lead in is there will be additional play-in events that happen. Uh, I believe qualifier weekend... Or, uh, Arena Championship 7's qualifying period will have one bonus play-in that happens in July. Ah, forse uh, aumentano i play-in. Be sort of an additional opportunity for players to spend okay. their play-in points or have another shot at earning their qualify weekend tokens uh, into the system. It's something that I we are definitely keeping an eye on, but with all the changes to the top end of the system, we didn't want to make sh drastic changes to both sides and then suddenly have way more players than we can can handle so we wanted to see how people respond to the changes of the arena, arena championship level and the path that leads directly into that and i will be spending most of my time keeping an eye on the start of the funnel with these when these changes go into place and how those play-in points are actually being earned and utilized and trying to make sure that it is an effective okay. way for players to uh qualify through the system all right um, will the traditional sealed event be updated to award play-in points? That's a very fine question. It's not something we had considered, but I'll take it back to the team. We, uh, it's very, it's relatively easy from a technical standpoint to, to add prizes to, to certain events like that. Uh, so I don't want to make any promises, but that does align with how we, uh, we have the traditional, uh, drafts that give out the play in points and the other constructed events that as well. So we'll take a look at that for sure. It's a good suggestion. Okay. Um, Kyle, I think, I think you spoke to this a little bit before, but it's, it's a good question for expectation setting for the new arena championship. Um, the question as worded was historically, how many players well, will have six wins be in the arena championship? Curious what number of players you expect in arena champs moving forward. Yeah, uh, the previously we had like if if we had done this system with sort of the old qualifier weekends, we and just took everyone that had six wins. That's sort of what the at large leaderboard is. You can go on Magic.gg now and see a history of the last few Arena Championships and look at the at large leaderboard for how many people had six wins across the different qualifier mm -hmm. weekends. Uh, but in addition to like the the additional players who will be in day two both coming back from the previous month's qualifier weekend and the easier path through day one we think is going to actually have probably two or three times the number of players getting that six win hurdle or getting over that six win hurdle so uh i think i mentioned in passing but i, I my expectation is this first arena championship seven will probably be somewhere in the range of 100 to 120 players all right uh, Uncle Cardboard in chat is stealing my job and helping us with the transition. So, Billy, uh, here, here's, a, here's the question in chat. That's, that's, I see it. per, it's, the, it's the perfect transition. Uh, with PT invites being added for the Arena Championship, is there any discussion about scaling the number of PT invites at large for regional championships? Well... Only because Uncle Cardboard is suggesting it. Let's put up the graphic. <laughs> yes, here. Look out. Mort. All right, talk okay. us through so this. We are, we are scaling up the Look invites. Out. This is starting with the next RC okay. round. Okay. Uh, Quasi. Um, allora, qualcosa raddoppiato addirittura. Uh, basically, we looked at both overall magic play in a region and we looked at mm. competitive Però, play in a region totalmente and, raddoppiati il resto 1,5 um, mm. frankly they pretty much told exactly the same story um, sono contento che non abbiano reinserito um, gli inviti ai creator here, 
che qualcuno stava piangendo dicendo eh, una volta invitavano Crockett, hanno invitato Tian, hanno invitato Savis perché erano creator e ogni tanto i Pro Tour invitavano i creator così. Sono son d'accordo che, che non è giusto. Sono d'accordo che abbiano smesso di farlo e che non sia reinserita sta cosa è vero che a me farebbe comodo però è vero che è uno scam rispetto a quelli che si fanno il culo per arrivarci benvenuto Manu sì sì la guida, la, la guida iniziale da zero è anche abbastanza recente quindi That combined with the fact that, frankly, I think, and this is not just, you know, me, but player feedback and people talking to me again over, over the last period of time, um, uh, the, the Pro Tour can just be a bit bigger than 300. 350, 375 maybe is even fine. So with this increase here, uh, we're willing to let those, let those events get a little bit bigger. These are the invites that go from Um, from the tabletop RCs to the Pro Tour. Yeah, which answers one of the questions in chat. These are invites to the Pro Tour from the regional championships, absolutely. All right. Um, that, I think, covers all of the information that we wanted to proactively share, so it's time for Q&A. Uh, I've been following around, along in chat a little bit, but chat, it does make it a little bit easier if you tag your question with at magic, and I will try to get to it now we are going to focus on premier play questions kyle works on the arena team but that doesn't mean he knows all things about all arena okay hanno già detto non risponderanno alla cosa del, uh, dello spettatore mod we'll talk through as many of the premier play focused decisions as we can um but we're going to start with you billy oh you mix it veramente the yeah. of the same question um uh, yeah. you know about the the new size of the invites you know people are noting that usa got doubled a couple of like how can you no, talk poi, about falli, falli venire in chat a chiedermelo che è giusto yeah honestly i, I showed it to you, you <laughs> eh. we my team and i made a weighted spreadsheet of total magic play and total competitive play in a region eh, and we spesso perché così vieni in chat live a chiedermelo making the actual invites accurately reflect those proportions as we could um i know a lot of people say us is too big or whatever frankly sì, non avremo, non avremo una specie di mod, ma fino a non si riesce, sto rinunciando. So, uh, it's just math. It's just math. It's just math. All right, um, let's go back to Kyle, because I've seen a, a number of questions about Arena Opens, and asking about the future oh. of those. Arena Open. Constructed Arena Opens. Uh, do you have anything to share there? Yeah, I, Arena Opens will continue to happen, where I pretty happy with the, the participation in those events and you know how much engagement how many people oh, see felici di come sta andando l'arena open uh, on che Twitch and on social media, che... all the people sharing their success to those events uh, there we don't have any big changes for that as they still will be limited i don't have a plan for constructed opens uh, at least not yet although i i toss the idea out every so often because i know the first time we do one it'll it'll be very exciting it'll make a lot of noise Bravo, Lore. Uh, but currently, they are, they are still planned to be limited for the foreseeable future. They will also continue to have the qualifier weekend invites. Uh, and so everything that's that, nothing about these changes are touching the arena opens or our plans with that. All right. Um, Billy, some questions on timing. I know we said May, but some people are asking, do the invites uh, start with regional championship in Dallas or regional championship in D.C.? all the global regional championships starting in May that feed Pro Tour Amsterdam. So yeah, feeding Pro Tour Amsterdam starting in May. There we go. Uh, For Dallas. If, for the sake of the U.S., it would be Dallas, yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, Kyle, uh, will Timeless ever get a qualifier weekend? I, I think Timeless will get a qualifier weekend as soon as that format calms down a little bit. It keeps... Like it's it's crazy. We're watching the different decks every week, uh, and and you know show and tell being very popular currently. And 
I uh, it's to us it's just a little too volatile as uh, as you know people are still really exploring and figuring out what decks are we want to have a better idea of what that format non sono d'accordo non sono d'accordo per niente grazie uh, Oco is a, a ho detto non facciamo though, uh, in a, it's like it's next weekend or it's vabbè almeno darci l'evento timeless però uh, so that'll be our first sort of quasi competitive experience with timeless and we're going to learn a lot from that to see whether or not we think it'll make sense for a qualifier weekend Yeah, non è vero che è volatile il formato è anche bello settato ormai uh, people asking when the article recap for the stream will be up uh, at the conclusion of the stream um, da, 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 da. I, I did see one question uh, forgive me yeah. for not knowing who asked but they, they wanted to clarify Dio madonna comprati un router in the new system the qualifier weekend day 2 will have the pro tour invites uh, and that's, that's a, I think an important distinction so a March and April, they will still, the players who go, get seven wins will still go to the Pro Tour. Uh, but after that, in May, the Qualifier Weekend Day 2 will no longer have the Pro Tour invite component. Those invites moved to the Arena Championship from Qualifier Weekend Day 2s. Yeah. Uh, so just want to make sure that's clear to folks. Yep. Um, all right, next question uh so uh i'll take this one can we get a system like this for mitgo it changes for each format each weekend I'll... so uh this team does not manage the mitgo system uh a little birdie slash the mitgo team did tell me cazzi di mtgo ma per me può po chiudere quella merda voglio sapere today pure coincidence yeah. Uh, that be going ok, bello, hanno aggiornato il Premier Play Non aggiornano il come vediamo il Premier Play? Veramente? Um, C'è ragione Maffi um, yeah, Rendono più accessibile il Premier Play Ma loro continueranno a streamarlo da Discord? Questa uh, cosa mi sembra molto strana a me Non offendere MTGO, lo offendo quanto cazzo mi pare, fa schifo Campa solo perché è l'unico modo per giocare determinati formati online Se no per la struttura di, di noleggio e acquisto carte E per l'aspetto visivo sarebbe fallito ieri Se non fosse meglio Quindi è indifendibile, smettetela voi Ranked best of three drafts is something that uh, we actually hear a lot and Vero, sono d'accordo anche questo There's a lot of uh, discussion we have internally about what play experience should contribute to ranked and what shouldn't uh and uh, we we hear you and i i can't make any promises but i will will hopefully will take that questo sono d'accordissimo approfitto del loro del loro lag best of three draft is it's tough because we also like it is not as adopted as the other draft formats like best of one si vuol di un cazzo però lo devi rendere lo devi rendere ranked perché cara la dittatura di surbant anch'io però mi dite mai nulla. Incentives there that players are going to get a good experience uh, and uh, that they we aren't just trying to urge people to do something that they that they may not have as much fun doing. I don't know. It's it's a complicated uh, thing that we are at least we certainly are talking about it internally for sure. All right. Um Kyle we'll stick with you for this one. Uh, any changes expected for the separation of arena constructed ladder? I, I not none that I'm aware of. Uh, it's something that I've certainly thought about and talked about internally. I think technically it's. Uh, uh, Madonna, uh, it's not it's just like turning a key yeah. and having it suddenly have uh, the ranked system separated. C'è un problema di medium qui, eh. We do know that there's C'è un problema di medium, ragazzi. We will certainly spend some time investigating how difficult it would be to try and create that. Because no, I do think, gosh. I think that uh, having Uh, them all combined, eh, ma giorni, ma giorni il competitive play sono sure d'accordo, ma non me lo puoi streamare laggando, quelli, cioè, mi, mi, mi annunci le cose laggando e il premier play aggiornato, poi lo dovrò vedere dal vostro Discord. Cazzo, spectator mod e, e, e right. fate le live più, più, più belle, per favore. Um, and this is, I think, a broader um, philosophical question about the entire system. So take it, as, take it however you want. Um, any reason we can't have a point system for RCQs in instead of trying to spike an event? I mean, there's certainly not one reason. The short answer is there's not short answer. An answer is there's a lot of regional systems where we have regional partners 
managing them. Um, they could each come out with their own point system to try to qualify or mo qualify more people to the regional championship. But the end result is the regional championship qualifiers are pretty, from my perspective, pretty different in size and pretty different in uh, cadence in some places compared to others. Like, you know, from a U.S. perspective, I would imagine if you were in New York City, you could play one every weekend, and and the fractional rewards become extremely complicated in those in those scenarios, um, both from an implementation and from just an ongoing management perspective. All right. Um, Billy, we'll stay with you on this one. Uh, and I, I don't know how true the premise of this question is, but I'm sure you do because you've seen the data. Um, so the question is, as there has been a large increase in competitive play in the Middle East, could we ever expect a separation of Middle East and Africa from the European qualification for the PT? Um, can we ever expect something is a challenging question to answer. Right. There's no plans for it right now, but if, if it ever made sense, we would continue to evaluate it. That's about the best I can do on that one. Makes sense. Uh, let's see. What else we got here? <laughs> um, <laughs> here, fellow, fellow old player here, will we ever use yeah. our DCI numbers for competitive play again? <laughs> nope. Probably not. Frame that thing. Enjoy it. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah I've got it. My, my DCI <laughs> number memorized and it's just going to live in a shelf in my brain forever. Me too. I, I am pretty sure if I sat down and thought about it, I ha still have my memory. Ripravo. I haven't used I it. Yeah, that it. Whatever. Um, uh, some comments about separate ladders, but I'm pretty sure we, an you answered that Kyle. Um, the gossip. Uh, here's another one from our good friend, Uncle Cardboard. Uh, is there any talk about extending the window to join a qualifier weekend? I, that is something I'm going to keep an eye on now that we have more players, and I'm going to be looking at a lot of the timing of how players are actually engaged. Because so this, this affects both chat, the entry window and the end of the event. We have a, a rule for the last player standing, and every time it gets triggered, I we see the one player who sat in a queue for an hour and a half hoping that they will find somebody and that, that we don't have a way to sort of take care of that. And so I'm going to be paying very close attention to uh, you know how players are actually playing in these events when these matches happen and if it makes sense to extend that window to YouTube because mind. I know that having that window be sort of 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. and Pacific time every month uh, is can be difficult for players in other regions and other time zones and so uh, it's something that I'm aware of and will be paying a lot of attention to but I don't have anything to announce or talk about for updates to that. Yep. Uh, I see the questions about Pioneer Masters, but that's not Kyle's area, so I'm not going to put him on the spot for that sort of thing. Uh, let's see. It is a also, see. I see the questions about spectator mode, also not Kyle's area of expertise. So uh, I see you in I, chat. I will say, it, I, I really want there to be a spectator. As the person who, <laughs> who coordinates coverage for our, our events, I also really want a spectator mode. Lo so. uh, it is... It, I it's I, it, it's not being actively worked on. It's not something that is necessarily coming. But uh, you're not the only one that <laughs> wants this. So uh, if if it's if we find a way, uh, know that I'm carrying that flag and trying to oh, make it happen. Oh, ci hanno cacato. All right, um, Billy, we'll go back to you. So on the other side of the RC side, mio fratello so Kyle. Kyle, Kyle è diventato la mia persona preferita di Magic uh, 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 ad, ad oggi. US RCs con questa affermazione no non hai capito la vogliono anche loro yes. ma non ci vogliono mettere talk, fondi e non li vogliono da guaini manca guaini to, to an imperative or maybe a possibility to an imperative but yes we're aware of it and yes we've discussed it or are discussing it it's maybe more precise than have discussed it great e lui ha detto è solo il primo e fa pressione per l'aspettato il mondo sa vuol dire che gli danno fondi per aggiornarla vedrai un comando a me a loro con quattro stronzi in un garage il gruppo di arena ragazzi lo sapete ormai come funziona il primo che Rita aprì era per draftare il giorno 2 e il feedback che abbiamo visto da questo è ottimo no no Kyle è il nostro fratello ve lo giuro Kyle è il fratello della gleba se possiamo 
replicate that you know it turns out the having six wins needed for qualifier weekend day twos is, is exactly two booster drafts right weird how that works uh so i, well, I don't have anything to confirm today it The, the change to the system does Dai, però, però sono contento che abbiano finalmente si sono finalmente cioè, ragazzi non era mai stata menzionata finalmente si sono esposti sulla spectator mod confermando uh, tutti i nostri see, dubbi yeah. sì I, la vogliamo no non possiamo perché non, non ci danno i fondi cioè non, non, non arriva dal, dai piani alti il fare la spectator mod quindi non dobbiamo dirlo a loro dobbiamo dirlo a resuoter praticamente that I think you all might have an answer for. Um, sure. Um, Kyle, is there any consideration to adding a league system and challenge to arena Le Lega. to Midgo? I, it's something that I, I personally want and we talk about a lot, right? Okay. How do we maybe not one-to-one -one what Mitgo is doing for their leagues, but certainly how can we better uh, sort of surface player success in arena? Like, because the people see their, their top deck list from those leagues and these other things getting published out of Magic Arena, and it is sort of something for players to aspire to. And that's the thing we want to uh, sort of chase with, with whatever, we, how a version of this we implement on Arena. And we want to give players sort of a clear path to how do I get highlighted? How do I get my success shown? And uh, how do they can, they can track their progress and see their, you know, their path and, and accomplishments over a period of time, which is stuff that you This don't have a lot of interesting. The system of Lega di MTGO, but uh, Arena. Yeah. Sì, però vedi Pango, okay, questa è una cosa bella. Adesso sappiamo. Cioè, il discorso è, prima non sapevamo niente, ora sappiamo che chi è nel team di Arena la pensa come noi. E, e già questa cosa è una grande gioia. Cioè, vuol dire che siamo ascoltati e siamo d'accordo. Questo è un recap. Ok, recapone. Perché è arrivato ora, recapone. Uncapped number of players, resulting in 16 players qualifying for the Pro Tour, with an additional... No, speriamo non lo licenzino, per favore. C'è un fratello della Gleba nel team di Arena, non, non perdiamolo. Day 2. We are now moving to six wins, qualifying for the European Championship. There's, there's no... Questa cosa qui, se è win dei due, sette due dei uno, eh... E che il day due qualifica al prossimo qualifier automaticamente. Devi vince una però, eh? Almeno una devi vince. Zero non c'è scritto, eh? Day one, slightly easier to make day two. Instead of two losses ending your run, it now takes three losses to end your run. In che senso Uncapped? Che non qualificano i primi 32 che fanno 7, come è stato finora, al day 2, ma i infiniti. Dai raga, maggio, qualificati, vinco il championship mondiali. Easy, proprio facile. Starting with the regional championship round in May, globally. Just straight up more invites added to the system, which is great news for everyone who plays in those events. All right. Thank you, Kyle and Billy, for joining us. Thank you, everyone in chat, for coming with some great questions. Uh, next week, we are going to Kyle potrebbe essere veramente l'eroe nell'ombra che non abbiamo mai visto. For the, uh, what set are we doing? Uh, the after show on debut for Outlaws of Thunder Vabbè, io sono, sono ormai ufficialmente nel team camion, cioè ragazzi, quindi se vado ai mondiali vado ovviamente col camion. Ci andrei solo per far incazzare la gente, ci andrei solo per far incazzare i boomer che mi odiano, mi farebbe un sacco ridere. Beh, ragazzi... Grossa, grossa, grossa! Sta bombetta. Comunque Kyle, sì, è la fusione tra mezzo garbe. E... Assolutamente gigante. Gigante. Sì, riassumo per chi è arrivato ora. Tanto ci vuole poco. Tolgo l'audio. Allora, riassuntino rapido. 
Tak payah. Lo faremo? Ma cazzo mi ha creato? Oh, non trovo... Vabbè, lo dico a voce. Allora, il cambiamento grosso è... L'Arena Championship non avrà più un pool di 32 giocatori fisso, ma sarà infinito tutti quelli che si qualificano con il qualifier. Quindi già questa cosa è grossa. I top 16 dell'Arena Championship andranno al Pro Tour direttamente. Per accedere all'Arena Championship il qualifier cambia con questa struttura. Il Day One non è più... 7 vittorie, una sconfitta e con, zero, e con due sconfitte sei fuori, ma è 7 vittorie e due sconfitte, quindi si esce col 3, quindi il meme non sarà più ho fatto 0-2 a casa, ma sarà ho fatto 0-3 a casa, ed è una differenza gigantesca, e il D2 non è più uguale 7-1 Pro Tour Championship, ma è 6-1 Championship. Da 1 a 3 vittorie sei già qualificato per il mese dopo, da, da 4 a 6 vittorie, no, da 1 a 3 vittorie sei qualificato per il mese dopo, da 4 a 5 vittorie sei qualificato per il mese dopo dei due. E questa cosa è bellissima. Cioè, tecnicamente, finalmente, come nei Pro Tour Cartacei, su Arena si può andare infiniti. Su Arena te puoi andare a fare tutti i qualifier a stecca finché, ti, finché continui a qualificarti Finché continui a fare bene Non a qualificarti Tipo oggettivamente per come ci è andata noi ultimamente Tecnicamente io avrei potuto fare 3 o 4 qualifier gratis Senza dover rancare durante il mese Perché ho fatto più Perché tipo mi è capitato anche nel corso Dell'anno dell scorso di fare 3 vittorie al dei 2 E morire eh, oh, lo, lo fa però eh, tecnicamente già arrivare al day 2 ti toglie un mese di, di, di stenti di ladder. Eh? E no, il, non, non ci sono cambi al play-in, non ci sono cambi alla ladder, è sempre top 1220 play-in, eh, top 250 qualificato, i play-in eh, ti, ti portano al qualifier, ma ci sarà a quanto pare ogni tanto un play-in in più per dare più possibilità. Quindi il, nel complesso vogliono più gente che ci prova e vogliono più gente che ci arriva all'Arena Championship, vogliono dare più importanza all'Arena Championship, questa cosa mi fa molto 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 piacere, godo, bravi